Hello, I'm Orlando Pita and welcome to my YouTube channel. Michael Kors celebrated his 40th anniversary this season and it's, he's a designer that I've been working with over 25 years and so I got to do the hair for his show this time again. What we did was a low ponytail with a side part. Um, it was very sleek and very beautiful and complimentary for his collection. But the ponytails had to be uniform and they all had to be the same. So um, I did them with extensions and I have a unique way of, of doing that kind of ponytail that I'd like to show you today. So I'm going to get started. So I'm here today with Maki and I've already prepped her hair by blow drying it with a heat protectant spray from my brand. And then I went over it with the straightening iron to make it really sleek. I used the middle of the eyebrow as a guide to where I start my part. And then I bring it a little bit diagonal because sometimes when you have cowlicks back here, they're really hard to control and slick down if, um, if you go straight back. Um, so this is a little uh, easier to, to manage. So first what I'm going to do is, now that it's parted, I'm going to bring down the head. This side of the hair came down onto the forehead a little bit. And then I kind of already start to um, spray the top of the hair and getting it to be controlled and all the little hairs. And I'm going to gather it all into a low ponytail in the back. And now I'm going to as well. And then I'm gonna use a bungee elastic that has the two hooks on each side. And I'm gonna hook part in, wrap it around. Make sure when you bring the other side, it's under the hook so your hook doesn't slide out. And then you put it there. So that's a nice position for it. I'm going to use a little gel now also to just slick it all down even more. Okay, so now that you have everything kind of in place and slicked down, we're going to perfect even more later. We start the ponytail, gets braided because we're going to add the extension hair later. And this is um, 18 inch hair. But first, I'm going to create a really tight braid with her hair. And you make a braid very as tight as you can. And once that's in, I use my silicone elastic at the end. I like to double it up and make sure it ends up being really tight. Tightness is really key during this hairstyle. Okay, so there you go <coughs> with your braid. So this is usually how you buy your hair. I'm not sure that I'm gonna use the whole piece on Maki. As I, as I start using it, I'll figure it out. But here's how it comes. And what I usually do is I take one end and I take a hairpin and stick it right through the um, all the seaming here at the beginning. Now, it can be hard sometimes to get it in here. So it's important to use pins that don't have a Sometimes pins have a little ball at the end and it's really hard to get it in there. So you see once um, you get the ends in there, you just pull it through and that holds the end of your extension, which then you're going to pull, put it right into the elastic. And then you start wrapping your weft. Start 
wrap, wrapping your weft going upward and make sure you wrap really tight around the braid. I realized that people were sticking pins at certain points in to just hold it. But if you do it really, really tight, this is not going to move. And those pins start adding bulk to the braid inside and making it stiff. So it doesn't have a nice movement afterwards so much. But if you feel you need them to secure something, because sometimes people's braid have a lot of layers and don't really come out thick enough, then go right ahead and do that, because that does help. Yeah, keep wrapping up. And what's nice about this ponytail is that you don't end up with a really thick base here, because that's what ends up looking unnatural in, in these ponytails sometimes when we do extension ponytails. Now, come to the end of the web, and what you take is like, I would say about an inch, maybe a little, an inch and a quarter of that hair. And I'm gonna take a little bit of gel and just put it on the end. That's what you're gonna to use to wrap around the seam on top. so you don't see where your weft begins. Now sometimes when you get to the end, you can kind of tuck in and it'll help to keep the ends in, but also you have to finish it with another hairpin. Then you take the inside and kind of shape it nicely. Brush it. And you can cut it if you like. I'm gonna leave it natural at the bottom, but you see how it really doesn't look thick and it looks quite natural and believable. And now I'm gonna go over it with a little more hairspray up here. like is you can wave the hair uh, slightly or you can wave it a lot you can put like a beach texture spray in it and, and do kind of beachy waves you don't have to keep it slick like this but this is the version that I did at the show that I wanted to show you so there you have it the sleek ponytail and don't forget to subscribe and like below and please leave me any comments you may have and also stay tuned for more hairdos to come. Thank you.